I can emphasize how the suit or jacket, in this case, this is a sporty jacket, it's made. If I turn the jacket inside, you will see perhaps all these ugly patches here, which they are very important for the for give it, to give the body to the to the suit. This we call a canvas. It's an interlining, which reinforces the fabric to look crisp outside. Um, as you notice, there are all these different uh, pieces of fabric, and they look ugly, but they are very important. Uh, the fact that is, each one has its own operation to sustain and maintain the the body of the suit. Uh, once I put this up there, this looks nice and straight and doesn't wrinkle mm -hmm. for the reason we put all this interfacing inside. Uh, this is a very important for the tailor to do this thing as uh, I give you an example. If I'm thinking only for the exterior, the, the look of it, of the suit, okay? Um, a designer, for instance, uh, I'll give you a little example. A designer, for instance, basically looks at the outside, at the look, makes a sketch, this is beautiful, and out it goes. Uh, the tailor is more the conservative, the one that thinks about how to built that suit, how to make that suit. And uh, in my opinion, you need the two, the two art, the two mind together to make a perfect suit. For instance, I give you a, an example. If you take an engineer or an architect, an architect will build a building on a main street, it's beautiful. People, they admire it, they look at it, and they almost perplex how beautiful it is. The following week, people, they look at the building, it's no longer there, collapse. Why? The architect only looked the beauty of it. We go back to the engineer. The engineers, again, he builds the building on Main Street. People, they look. And then I say, oh, it's ugly. I don't want to see that again. But that building is there forever. It never falls down. And people, they got to walk on the other side of the street if they don't want to see the building. <laughs> so same goes back to the tailor and the designer. Myself, I don't know if I should consider myself a designer or a tailor. I think I'm both, the two of them. But it's more the tailor in me. Uh, in other words, I don't look just at the style. Okay, this style, it's got to be like this. No, I look for the style to fit and uh, 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 to be right for the person. It's very important. We as people, we are all individual. We are all different. So when I create a suit, I keep in mind, and it's very important, to make a suit for the person to what he or she looks good with that garment and function for the work, uh, they got to do it. So it's very important for me to give the right fabric, the right style, and the way we make the suit. Uh, we don't make a suit like just looks good today, but our suit, they got to last at least four or five years, if not even more. It's very important. And doesn't mean after you have that suit, after five years, you throw it away. Might be still good. And same thing with the style. If I go trendy, you know, uh, really that trend is good only for today, for a few hours perhaps. I'm exaggerating now. But after one year, you got to throw away that. Instead, I built a garment which reflects the person. It's very important for that person to look sharp. Each time he or she puts that garment uh, is in front of the people, uh, either through a meeting 
or whatever, and I want people to look at and say, wow, that looks good. Uh, that person looks really sharp. So if I will design a suit only for the trend for today, uh, the same person wears a suit to two years from today and people won't look at them, will look so ugly. And uh, you, you all remember the bell bottom and we laugh at, at that. Mm -hmm. So it's the same story with. So I tried to make a suit not necessarily trend, trendy, not necessarily old fashioned. No, I don't believe in old fashioned so on. But on classic, yes. But classic also means we are with today's, with the time. 